Hello and welcome to Web Development for Kids. This is a, a series that I've been meaning to do for quite a while. Uh, my children, uh, of course, uh, they're uh, keen on web development and coding and everything, so I'm going to be making these series of tutorials for kids for them, actually. And if you have a child that you think would like to learn about programming, I'm going to share these on um, YouTube as well. So it's going to be like a YouTube video series. I'll get a site going later for web development for kids and uh, hopefully be able to help a lot of people uh, learn about web development. Now <clears throat> I'm in my Google Chrome browser here. I am going to type in Notepad++. You could just do the plus plus sign just like that. And you'll see that this Notepad++, this uh, uh, organization, uh, this is an HTML editor, and it actually looks like this. That's all it is. And so we're going to be using this to create websites and for each step of the way. So this is where you download it, notepad++.org. Okay, and this will work on PCs. Uh, TextMate for Macs. Uh, so if you go uh, TextMate like this, you can download for the Macintosh system, TextMate. So, but in this series, we're going to be using Notepad++. Um, you'll be able to follow along on a Mac or a PC, and so then that way you could uh, be able to learn about the code and how it works. It works the same in both systems as HTML. But what we'll do is go click Download right over here, okay? and you want to click this big download button. Okay, and this is going to down download Notepad++ to your downloads folder. Okay, and so we'll go maybe create a, uh, a new folder on our desktop. We'll call it Notepad. Now if you have a downloads folder, I encourage you to use the downloads folder like this, but uh, you could just click that and it will download the Notepad++. And uh, what you'll do is you'll just start it up like this. You'll get a little sign asking if it's okay to install. And then you click OK, select Next, you agree, and you'll see where it's going to be installed. Now mine's going to say I already have one installed, but you just keep clicking Next. Uh, just accept all the defaults and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so now it's installing. We're installing Notepad++ and let's click Finish. So then it's going to bring up Notepad++ for you and it's going to look just like this here. So, and, uh, so this is Notepad++ and this is what we're going to be editing on. So get that installed and then you'll be ready for the next video where we start diving into HTML and how to save files and so on and so forth. So after you get this installed, then we'll be rocking and rolling with some of our coding. 